Dr. Seward's Diary Captain Phonograph 25 May Ebb tired in appetite today. Cannot eat, cannot rest. So dire instead. Since my rebuff of yesterday, I have a sort of empty feeling. Nothing in the world seems of sufficient importance to be worth the doing. As I knew that the only cure for this sort of thing was work, I went down amongst the patients. I picked out one who has afforded me a study of much interest. He is so quaint in his ideas, and so unlike the normal lunatic, that I have determined to understand him as well as I can. Today I seem to get nearer than ever before to the heart of his mystery. I questioned him more fully than I had ever done, with a view to making myself master of the facts of his hallucination, and my manner of doing it, of the words I now see, something of cruelty. I seemed to wish to keep him to the point of his madness, a thing which I avoid with a patience as I would the mouth of hell. Mem, under what circumstances would I not avoid the pit of hell? Omnia Romae venalia sunt. Hell has its price. Verb. Sap. If there be anything behind this instinct, it will be valuable to trace it afterwards accurately, as I had better commence to do so. Therefore, R. M. Renfield, et at fifty nine. Sanguine temperament, great physical strength, morbidly excitable, periods of gloom and an in some fixed idea which I cannot make out. I presume that the sanguine temperament itself and the disturbing influence end in a mentally accomplished finish. A possibly dangerous man, probably dangerous, if unselfish. And selfish men. Caution is as secure an armour for the foes as for themselves. What I think of on this point is, oneself is the fixed point, the centripetal force is balanced with the centrifugal, a wind duty, a cause, etc., is the fixed point, the larger force is paramount, and only accident or a series of accidents can balance it.